तो यहाँ पर रिसर्जेंट राजस्थान समिट की हम बात कर रहे हैं सभी लोगों ने जो सीईओ यहाँ पर पहुंचे हैं बड़े बड़े उद्योग घरानों से जो लोग पहुंचे हैं वो यहाँ पर सभा को संबोधित कर रहे हैं ग्लोबल हब एंड इन अट्रैक्टिंग बिजनेस लेट मी कॉम्प्लीमेंट दबल चीफ मिनिस्टर वसुंधरा राजे जी फॉर अ विजन एंड अनरिलेंटिंग इन डेवल्स इन स्टियरिंग राजस्थान ऑन अ वेरी हाई ग्रोथ प्रोजेक्ट्री आई बिलीव राजस्थान हैज अ स्टेट जी डी पी इन एक्सेस ऑफ नाइन्टी बिलियन डॉलर एंड इट इज अमंग्स इंडिया मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल स्टोरीज मच ऑफ द क्रेडिट मस्ट गो टू द डायनामिक लीडरशिप ऑफ वसुंधरा जी एंड अ टीम हु हैव वर्क पर्पजफुली एंड कंसिस्टेंटली टू मेक इट अ ग्रेट इन्वेस्टमेंट डेस्टिनेशन द गवर्नमेंट हैज अ स्टेट्स इकोनॉमिक प्रोग्रेस ऑन इट्स एजेंडा एंड इट्स प्रायोरिटी ऑलवेज बींग रिसेंटली रैंक सिक्स इन द ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस इन द कंट्री is a testament to this commitment several proactive steps such as the enactment of the labor landmark reforms and the rajasthan investment promotion scheme are welcome steps which undeniably attract investors for us in the aditya birla group rajasthan has been amongst our most favorite investment destinations way back in the late 1980s our group made its first investment in rajasthan setting up a white cement plant in jodhpur and since then there has been no looking back in great cement we have a solid base here in rajasthan and we intend intensifying it in 1995 we set up aditya cement an integrated cement plant in chittorgarh we commenced operations with a production of only 3000 tons per day which today stands at 30000 tons per day later we set up a second integrated cement plant in kotputli with a capacity of 10000 tons per day these world class ultra tech cement plants currently contribute to 20% of our cement capacity of 67 million tons up until now we have invested 6500 crores in rajasthan only in our cement business in the near future we plan to invest 7000 crores towards two more great cement plants at pali and at navalgarh with a total capacity of 7 million tons we also put, plan to put up a white cement plant very close to here at gotan these expansions will take up the number of people that we employ in the cement business alone from 6200 to 10000 employees let me now talk about our telecom company idea cellular and its engagement in the state idea entered the state of rajasthan in october 2006 and over these 9 years of operations idea has continuously made investments in the state and now covers 15418 villages and towns it delivers quality mobile telephony services to over 73 lakh subscribers in rajasthan further idea also accords high speed 3g mobile data services across 4000 sites across the state through idea we continuously strive to improve the tele density in the state from its current level of 77% in terms of direct and indirect employment idea has generated employment opportunities for over 75000 people in rajasthan a financial services business operates in nine cities in rajasthan covers over a lakh customers through both our life insurance and mutual fund businesses which together manage over 16000 crores of assets here in rajasthan amongst our nation businesses is solar power we've started with a small base here and our goal is to scale up to 500 megawatts over the next couple of years at an investment of 3000 crores so to sum up we have made significant investments in rajasthan in terms of financial resources manpower development and management time to expand our businesses here up until now these exceed 9000 crores we have more than 40000 employees in the state and our ancillary businesses have spawned thousands of additional jobs going forward we will invest rupees 11000 crores of this a cement business would invest 7000 crores and solar power would make up an investment of 3000 crores other investments would come from our mobile telephony and apparel businesses beyond businesses the group is involved in meaningful welfare driven projects 
that touch the lives of more than a million Rajasthanis. Our CSR activities focus on education, healthcare, vocational training, and sustainable livelihood, along with infrastructure development. We are also committed to inclusive growth. I have no doubt that under the leadership of Vasundharaji, Rajasthan will continue to progress and move even higher on the ease of doing business index. This confluence at Research in Rajasthan of the government, bureaucracy, policy makers and business leaders is a great forum to capitalize on the opportunities that Rajasthan offers. I wish Vasundharaji and her team all success and we at the Aditya Birla Group look upon ourselves as leading partners in the project in the progress of our state. Thank you. Thank you, sir.